Please, sir, I have a question. Now, it's a little bit... Uh, it's concerning that thing about those plates moving around. This big ball that we sort of live on. There's this concept of this expanding world that I came across. Um, I'm not that old fame with geography. Geology. <laughs> See, I don't even get the right word. Uh, ignorant math. So I thought I would... Now, given that the idea of this expanding Earth by Neil is being torn apart somewhat um, by many people who have uh, qualifications in the area, it seems. Uh, I don't have qualifications in the area, but I find it fascinating. It would be so nice if there was a nice small world at the beginning which was covered by the sea, to more or less, okay, which would explain high level, you know, my watch hill. you climb the mountains, it'd be easier, wouldn't it, than imagining all that rock once as a seabed that's been pushed up and everything pushed down, some kind of conveyor belt system, okay, where it just refreshes the earth. Um, but, people have noticed that something like this does go on. Neil maintains that the earth is his comes from another theory a lot older. Okay, and if you do put them together, yeah, you get most of the, the continents to form a ball. It has been pointed out, and it's true, my model wasn't so great, but uh, you've got a little problem where the Pacific is. As another user pointed out, it's a But let's just assume, okay, that there is a possibility that there could be some truth in this expanding world thing. I mean, has, can anyone prove that the planet has been the same size since its beginning? I mean, we're talking a fair time. That's if you're not um, somebody who pertains to the school of thought of New World Work racialism, that is. Um, in that case, when you look at this movement of the Earth from the geology, you've got to think, uh, maybe ask the question, God, what's going on? Um, anyway, sorry about that. I mean, it depends on what you've been told on your concepts of the world with a large percentage of people. I'll talk about that in another video. Uh, fundamentalism. No, anyway. For the geologists out there, this is a, a thought. Okay, this is my question. Took me a while to get here, but this is my question. If we imagine that the Earth could be expanding, could be, could be, could be, hypothetically, let's just jump into the hypothetical uh, thought experiment here. Okay, now could. So if the Earth could be expanding, okay, what would happen with an expanding Earth? Okay, bear with me, please. I know I'm a lunatic. Okay, but it could be entertaining. Just watch me, you know, if you're bored. Okay, so the world start expanding. The outer shell breaks into fragments. Okay, there could have been a mechanism to start this. Okay, could. We're still in the area of could. Please, calm, calm, calm down. Okay. Now, if this, in this hypothetical situation of an expanding world, okay, which has been cracked into fragments which are now moving around, okay, now, this would give more movement, a solid world that's not there. I'm still, and I'm afraid, nobody, I've looked, okay, nobody's explaining <laughs> what's really causing this movement, okay, why this movement exists. It's not there. Um, you can refer me to statistical data, observation of the movement, but it doesn't answer that fundamental question of how exactly is it moving, so the full motive forces behind it all, okay, and why it's happening. Those are Two small questions, how and why, I suppose, not important. Let's just accept what we've been told. Or maybe somebody can tell me clearly, okay? 
Um, anyway, so hypothetically, we've got a cracked world, okay, which is now basically the outer shell has been cracked, so it's now more fluid. Okay, there are effects of gravity. Um, I'll leave the gravitational spin, but if something's spinning, things do get pushed out. Okay, and if it's broken, then they're going to be more loosely. You know, Less holding it there. Okay, this is just my stupid logic. Um, now, also, this is in a vacuum, so there's more suction going on there. This is just how I see the universe. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a poor, uninformed human. Um, other people see it differently. In this hypothetical situation, Okay, you've got these forces acting, okay, fluid thing moving there, so you could get some expansion. Of course, you've got this cooling over the top, which can be caused by the upper, the atmosphere, the moisture there, the seas that are flowing, whatever, so it's healing itself. Okay, but it's been, pressure, okay, is being pushed out. So this possibly is the main argument of the, the movement of the plates, it's caused by pressure, etc. But if the pressure is just pushing, sliding things around, what's maintaining its its size? Okay, with other forces, surely there must be some calculation where these forces are uh, negated. Okay, this force compared with this force of spin, uh, any force from a living in a vacuum, because if I go out in space, I go, uh, I need something to counter that external force. Okay. So, my question again, coming to it, I've got to explain it. Okay, I know I sound stupid, I'm sorry. But in a situation in which we've got this movement, okay, fluid, okay, it's healing like, it's like a scab. You scratch yourself, okay, and you move, okay, scabs over, it breaks because of the pressures are preventing the outer crust from healing. This could not or could possibly hypothetically be a cause for your plate movement okay so I mean this is why things are moving around As it <laughs> the Neil guy talks about things sliding around and somebody made a video they're not sliding around babies I'm not talking about things sliding around is, is a complicated person they are moving <laughs> the expanding earth won't really destroy um, the ideas of today. I know Neil wants to destroy everything and come out with something revolutionary, um, but it's very hard to s go from an ignorant fool to, well, I don't know how hard it is, I've never been there, okay, I'm still <laughs> close to the beginning, but I'm trying, okay, to the enlightened one who knows all the answers of all that which is. Um, sorry, Neil, no offense meant there, but please uh, see the logic, okay. Now, just going back to the, uh, the original question or secondary question attached to that question about the, uh, <laughs> the geology of the Earth. Okay, that little mess in um, the Pacific. Okay, there's something missing there, isn't there? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I think there's a commonly held, commonly depends on your view again, because it's sort of commonly the reality of people that is different. But many people. Uh, will say that the moon was caused by a collision some time back and the moon is in fact a chunk of the earth. Just hypothetically speaking, if, okay, and tell me whether mechanics and all of this could be wrong. I mean, I'm not saying you have to prove it right. It's very difficult to prove something right. Even if you put out the fancy figures, you... Okay. <laughs> it's, I, it's probability, isn't it? Okay, science is probability. Um, if truly it is, I mean, if you read Pratchett, Pratchett explains it very well. I mean, yeah, it works a hundred times out of a hundred so far, but a hundred times out of a hundred out of the infinity, <laughs> infinite possibilities of trying, then you get probability, don't you? Okay, or certainty if you want to talk about it. It's just semantics playing with words again. Uh, the human mind. Finally, just to say, what would happen if this big lump of whatever flying around, you know, they do, you speed up uh, time way beyond the human scale, <laughs> much, much faster. <laughs> um, it's uh, basically a, a big pool table, isn't it? Bang, bang, bang. Things are 
colliding off each other. So if you imagine going back in the past with this idea of how the moon was created, um, is there any possibility that if there was a collision which created the moon, that collision could have taken place in the area which is now the Pacific? As an open-minded discussion, I'm not saying it did, but science, probability. Tell me how stupid I am, probably, if you wish, uh, but try not to be rude. Once yanked downwards by gravity, they haul along their plates back into the oblivion of the mantle. That's what we know, or what we think we know. But the details of what's going on in the deepest parts of the Earth that drive the engine of plate tectonics, we may never know.